technology has made tremendous advancements over the past decades. So systems have become smaller, but more powerful and they are networked. This gives us new possibilities to build great applications, but on the other hand it also increases the complexity of such systems. Traditionally, systems are built like a jigsaw puzzle or like a card house, so every piece has to fit in perfectly in order that the system is correct. With complex, with large complex systems, this approach does not work anymore, because it's very likely that there will be at least one mistake in the final design. So the question is, can we find other ways to design applications so that they are more tolerant, more robust to such uh, mistakes in design? How can we design such self-organizing systems? How can we find the local interaction rules in order that the overall system behaves as intended? The answer to this question can be found in nature, which is evolution. All the organisms in nature have been derived by evolutionary principles. The result are organisms consisting of millions of millions of cells which are interacting with each other and doing their job in a great way. So what we are doing is to apply these evolutionary principles to design technical systems. For example, we derived an algorithm for coordinating flying helicopters in a search mission. Or we designed the control strategy for robot soccer team. Currently, most systems still have a centralized component. But in the future, there will be more self-organizing systems. And many of those will be designed with the help of artificial evolution. Our project's focus is on designing self-organizing systems. These systems are consisting of multiple agents or subcomponents. And the aim is that these subcomponents uh, interact with each other and for that a greater good uh, emerges, some kind of team play to achieve uh, the, the common goal. And the difficult thing in this project is to find these proper uh, interaction rules or the behaviors of these subcomponents. So my task within the project is to create a software, we call it right now Frevo, which is a, a toolbox to create and simulate these uh, self-organizing sessions uh, to find the proper interaction rules. So the idea is to find these rules, find these behaviors, and then to get a correct and really good team play of these. Uh, I'm currently working on an algorithm to control flying microhelicopters. These microhelicopters are equipped with uh, transmission equipment so that they can act as independent communication relays. They are controlled by self-organizing algorithms so that uh, there's no need to manage the position of this helicopter centrally. Uh, in spite of that, each uh, helicopter controls its own position in relationship to the other drones. So here we have some results about the evolution of microcopter simulation. First I would like to show the results of the early generations where we don't really expect too much from the drones. So to compute this we just need a couple of generations so it's not a big deal. So let's see how they perform. I start the simulation and here you can see that there are some, some boundaries around the field and uh, there's some, some object or person we would like to find. And these small blue dots are the microcopters trying to cover the area and find the designated person. So as you can see, this is an early generation. The algorithm is not well evolved and the drones really don't know what to do here. After one day of simulation time, we finally reached our end result, so let's see how they perform after so many calculations and evolution. So I start them again, they start from the same point and you see the person is at the same place. But it's very clear that the drones are separating, they are leaving each other, they're trying to cover more area, more parts of the, of the field. And eventually at the end they easily find the, the required place. Every organism in nature has been derived by evolutionary principles. And in our research, we are applying the very same principle in order to derive the solutions for our problems. So the great benefit of our research project is that we can create a tool which can be used for any kind of problems as long as we can 
uh, model it into a simulation. Uh, the aim is to help in uh, serious catastrophic situations. For example, consider some firemen fighting a fire in the, somewhere in the woods. They need to establish or to have a communication line with their chief to, uh, for the chief to control them where to go. So the micro helicopters here can help to establish a good communication between the people, the firemen and their chief in special. Our research focuses around the idea to look at the methods of these natural systems and to apply it to complex technical systems. Most systems still have a centralized component, but in the future there will be more self-organizing systems and a good deal of them will be designed by evolutionary principles.